Some days, you're just the squashed Nutri-Grain bar that exists at the bottom of every purse or book bag. You're right. No matter what I look like, I'm still a snack, and people are always grateful when they realize I'm there. Thank you for the inspiration post. I'm still a snack. Mm. Saying fuck it actually motivates me more than you can do this. That's because there's always a part of your brain that's like, what if I can't do this and you still freeze? But if you say fuck it, you're saying, you know, whatever happens, happens. If it's not perfect, so what? I'm gonna try, and if I fail, then fuck it. So much wisdom and truth. Things to say to bugs when science finally unlocks the secrets of human bug communication. I'm not hurting you, I'm taking you to a safe place. Do eat weird crumbs, cause I found some I'm willing to share. You can bite me if you want, but I'd rather be no bite friends. I like your big colorful eyes, very stylish. Please don't crawl into my sleeves. <laughs> Humans are so cute. When we say goodbye, we put our arms around each other, and to show we love someone, we bring them flowers. We say hello by holding each other's hands, and sometimes tiny little dewdrops form in our eyes. For pleasure, we listen to arrangements of sound, press our lips together, smoke dried leaves, get drunk off of old fruit. We're all just little animals, falling in love and having breakfast beneath billions of stars. This is my favorite post. It's actually mine too. My blood is glue stick juice. It's why my bones crack when I move. Explains how you bring light to everything around you, too. <laughs> you Kaye, motherfucker. I think freckles, stretch marks, tattoos, bruises, birthmarks, and scars are probably the coolest thing. You started with almost a blank canvas, and look at you now. All this evidence that you lived and the sun has shone on you, and you've grown and maybe tripped up a few times, and liked an image so much you made it a permanent part of you. That's beautiful. It's one of the most uplifting things I've read. Adulthood is a scam! I want to be a crow! I'm not even a doll and I want to be a crow. The desperation only grows with years. Be the crow you wish to see in the world. Collect shiny things, hop happily down the street for no apparent reason, scream loudly when you see your friends. Why didn't think? Incredibly inspiring addition. Thank you. I swear the pirates would go from short shore looking for buried treasure when the real treasure was in the friendships they were making. There be booty to be found, matey. Matey, your booty be the most bountiful. <laughs> matey. Your average pineapple peeled and cut makes about 4.5 cups or 36 ounces of pineapple chunks. Cans of pineapple come in a variety of sizes, the most common being 20 ounces and 46 ounces meaning a single pineapple generally won't fill up a single can perfectly. Which also means every time you eat a pineapple from a can, somewhere someone else has the can that has the rest of that same pineapple. Meaning you can share a single fruit with a stranger from hundreds of miles away. And I think that's beautiful. Yo, if someone calls you Thunder Thighs, you should take it as a compliment because you have been gifted by Thor and he probably thinks you're beautiful. This leg, I like it. <gasps> Another! People who put video tutorials online for literally everything are the backbone of the society. I would be nowhere without the comfort that whenever I don't know how to do something painfully simple, I can look it up. Like, I bet I could look up how to preheat the oven, and there'd be endless videos, and I'd never have to be a complete idiot again. Thank you all for saving my life. These not the horses. Leave them alone. They did nothing wrong. They're the only innocent ones. They don't deserve this. Honestly, this used to upset me a lot as a kid, until my mom, who worked with horses for many years, told me about how they trained the horses in those movies to do things like falling down, kneeling, crawling, or stay laying on the ground after they fall, and how it's so tough to train a prey animal to do these behaviors, and how hard both trainer and horse have to work. So now whenever I see a horse take a hit and go down the movie, I just think, Fucking superb, you funky little horse actor! I like to pretend that my intrusive thoughts are being said to me by a super uptight religious white lady. God hates you because you don't believe in him. Your failures are too great to be forgiven by anyone. Everything you do is wrong and you're going to burn in hell. Thanks for the input, Brenda, but fuck right off. I would just like to say that I love you all for this idea. Reblogging this for a friend! You're a parasite on society at large and your friends in specific. Fuck off, Greg! Oh man, I do this shit every day! My favorite for intrusive anxious thoughts is to pretend Spock's behind you with an answer. Did I lock the door? Captain, you have locked the door every day for over 10 years, and it is very hard for most people to break even subconscious habits. And you most definitely locked the door. 
I told my new psychiatrist about how I learned this from y'all and his eyes lit up. He didn't smile, but he did nod a whole bunch of times. It was great. Pretend your invasive self hitting thoughts are being said to you by a 13 year old boy on Xbox Live trying to get a rise out of you like, Your girlfriend dumped you because you're ugly. That's nice, Tim. Isn't it past your bedtime? Also, if you have intrusive violent thoughts, pretend they're being sent to you by an annoying backseat driver. Drive into that pole. Thanks, Karen. Or I could not do that. Perfect. You can also pretend that the super paranoid thoughts are being said by the conspiracy theorist in your history class. Maybe they poisoned you. Maybe you should just fuck off, Jeffrey with a G. Wahoo! Hi, everyone! It's a me, Luigi! Now, I needed to talk about something serious. People are living their lives in a sad, sad way. They don't think they're a number one. They think they're a number one, a billion! Oh, no! So if you are reading this, I want you to know that Luigi loves you very much. You are gonna do some great things, you know? You? You, number one. Live a life to the fullest. You are a great friend. Wahoo! I can't believe I'm fucking crying over a goddamn Luigi post. What the fuck?